We are continuing onward in Pillars of Eternity in Radric's Keep. We have just finished resting again. And we are going to go back down to the second level where we left off last time. We couldn't quite get that done. Wait, where am I going? I'm going here. So we are trying to make our way to Radric himself. I'm not entirely sure where he is. We were given these instructions. We have this key to enter a, a, like a secret place that somehow is supposed to get us right to where we're supposed to go. But I can't figure out where it is. Um, we had a lot of trouble entering this room here. This room here was very bad, so we don't want to go that way. We, we had a party wipe there that we had to reload from. Margrin's fire casts light in dark places. So it looks like a small room here. Let's go see what that is all about. I didn't really think this, this Radric thing was going to take so long. I thought it was just going to be a quick little side quest before I went on to uh, Cadnua. Oh, I've already been in here. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's go up this way. I think there's a there's a there's a guy in this room. Yeah, there's two guys in this room. Okay. Of course, my weakest guy walks right into the room. Hmm, hmm, taking some damage there. Taking some hits. Um, let's do a whisper of treason. This thing isn't doing the job. Wait, wait, if they disengage, does that mean I can leave? Whoops. That's a big no. <laughs> this disengagement thing is, uh, is a problem for me. Thing is, I don't know what Edder is always complaining about something. I can't tell what he's I'm complaining about. Mm. Man, I wish there was a way to rotate the camera. I don't suppose there's a way to do that in this game. I don't know. All right, hold on. Do you have any? Do you have any offensive spells? Oh, long-lasting circle of healing. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, get that thing cast. Yeah. Heal everybody up. I wish it would work on somebody who's down. <laughs> Man, this guy's tough. This Radric guard. He's making a stand. Finally. Finally he goes down. That was a cool spell, that, that heal spell, that AoE heal. I gotta remember that one. Well, Drem has a wrenched soldier. I got a wrenched shoulder, you guys. I didn't mean to come in first, but apparently I just kind of walked in and that was that. Oh, there's a door here, with some gold. Oh, it's another guard. 
Oh, we walked into the guard barracks. That's nice. How lovely. Why? Okay, no, 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 no. We don't. We don't. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't need to run up and melee with people. Is taking some damage there. There we go. Why does Edar keep complaining? He's always complaining about something. Oh, this thing is not working. He's using a saber. Can we get him anything better? Wow, we got a million weapons. Uh, holy crap. Is there any way to sort this thing? Sort by enchantments. There we go. One-handed fine spear. Fine poleaxe. Fine greatsword. Uh, the spear is not any better. So I've put an enchantment on Edir's saber. Can we can we do another one by any chance? Quality one of one. We can't do another one. Crafting requirements requires a level four. Oh, secondary damage. Slaying. I don't know how this crafting things work yet. How do we know? What level of... I don't know. That's too complicated for me. Basically, we don't have another weapon to give him. Um, unfortunately, you're stuck with that saber. It's the best we can do for you, man. I shall be discreet. Oh, we're stealing from this great fine male armor. Hell yeah, we're gonna give that. Why did it say I was stealing? Of course I'm stealing. I'm stealing from all this stuff. Under the pillow is a wooden medallion carved with a rising sun and three stars. It's tied to a leather thong. All right, then. What does that mean? I feel like that means something, but I don't know what it means. Yeah, we're gonna put this fine male armor on. With DR-11. Male armor is quite popular for its protective qualities. Plus two damage reduction. Oh, DR is damage reduction. It's got an enchantment of 2 out of 14. I mean, that seems good. I think. I mean, I'm no expert on armor, but that just seems like a good thing. So this room goes nowhere. Okay. Okay, okay. That's not what I expected. Oh, here's another chest. Again, it says we're stealing. I mean, yeah, we're stealing all this stuff, right? So it's kind of looking like... I, I don't know where to go. I don't... 
I don't know where this secret room is I'm supposed to get to. Am I just an idiot? I feel like I'm being a complete idiot here because it looks like the only way for me to go is through that room where the horrible people killed me last time. Maybe it'll work better if I go from the side. Quick save. Yeah. This guy here. Cell sword. I mean, this is the only place to go. Maybe we can sneak around this way. And just sneak past everybody. Everybody stay quiet. Oh, there's a door here. Maybe this is where we're supposed to go. Okay, this looks promising. There's a lot of books in here, at least. I'm not gonna read the books, cause uh, it's just probably gonna take a long time. Oh, a secret. <gasps> secret door. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. A scroll of Tanglefoot. That's what we need. I guess. Broad heart-shaped leaves on the breastplate of this statue again. More books. Now this one is not saying that I'm stealing for some reason. It's not stealing from these bookcases, apparently. What's over this way? There's a door going somewhere. Let's quick save again. Who's in here? Nobody. Nobody's in here. Just a bunch of stuff to loot. Ooh. Potion of Merciless Gaze. Oops. That stuff should have gone into the stash. wooden box. Ooh, a pistol. It's our first pistol in the game. Oh, this one's locked. We can unlock that thing. We're gonna use up a lockpick to unlock this thing. Yeah. Rymergan's mental. Uh, 20% of freeze damage converted to endurance. Oh, nice. Plus five damage reduction for freezing. Capes and cloaks can be worn for protection from the elements and from prying eyes alike. Many are woven with spells to provide additional defense or capabilities. Huh. I don't know who to give that to. Also, ooh, Adra. An organic material, crystalline in structure, but shell-like in substance. Adra can be found growing up through the ground in veins in many parts of Aeora. Easy to carve and manipulate, it is a favorite of jewelers as a semi-precious stone and is often cut more intricately and beautifully than other gems. I feel like it's also useful in crafting? Dusty old ledgers record the taxes paid on farmsteads in Gilded Vale as far back as 2632. Okay, that doesn't seem very useful. This 
still don't know where I'm going. Quick saving again. Somebody's bedroom here. Oh, there's been a murder over here. Somebody's been murdered. <gasps> Is that the wife? Blood, still wet, runs from the woman's slit throat, soaking into the sheets below. Oh, no. Oh, trap detected. Disarmed. Yes, and I've leveled up. A ring of searing flames is in the chest. I don't like the looks of this. Who killed this woman? What's going on here? There's a mystery afoot. Blackened pages curl in the fire. A leather cover embossed with a rising sun and three stars is barely visible through the flames. Oh, man. Somebody committed murder and then tried to cover their tracks. What is... Where are we now? Is this the courtroom? Wait, am I not even on the right level to get to the... I don't think I'm even... Oh, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Run away, run away, run away. Did somebody see me? Close the door. Whew. I almost got spotted there. So is that... I don't know what... That definitely looks like a throne room to me. Is that where I'm supposed to go? I'm so confused about where to go and what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. I feel like... I mean, I feel like I'm gonna die if I try to fight out here. I'm gonna quick save and, and give it a shot. But I feel like this is just a bad idea. Gonna go in slow mode. So there's a cell sword up there. I mean that that must lead to the throne up there. Oh, there's a door. What's over here? Ah, oh, stairs. That must be something. Let's go up these stairs. They must lead somewhere. Aha. To the Keep Chapel. Wait, that's where I just was. Isn't that... Wait, this is... Is this a... Different room? I've been in here, right? It's locked with a burnished steel key. Oh, I was supposed to go that way. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Well, I'm just gonna leave this guy. Oh my god. Oops, I clicked on the pause. So this goes down to the chapel. That that big room, is that what the chapel is? Is this the chapel? This okay, so this is where I'm supposed to be, I think. I'm gonna quick save. So I'm supposed to charge in here and kill a bunch of people. I guess. Let's see if we can sneak around this way. Is it just one cell sword up here? In the throne room? Why is it so quiet? 
It's deathly quiet. Oh. Oh, we can just talk to them. Hello. Let him approach. Flanked by a host of guards, all of whom regard you with mute hostility, Lord Radric VII observes you from his throne, clad in ornate plate. His eyes have a hollow quality, and there is a pallor to the man's gaunt face that leaves his features showing stark against his dark and unkempt hair. There is a dagger discarded upon one stone arm of the throne. A thin crimson rivulet worms its way down from the blade and past Radric's fingers, even as he leans forward to regard you with a piercing gaze. Radric killed his own wife. Thought he'd be better looking, even with all that inbreeding. Though his face is calm, you notice Idir's hand straying toward his weapon, as though with a mind of its own. It seems I have you to thank for the chaos spreading through my keep. I half expected some invading army. It is unlike Kolsch to hire mercenaries, or foreigners for that matter. And you are not one of mine, so I cannot accuse you of treason. His fingers close loosely around the pommel of the dagger, as if to ascertain if it is still there, and then flinch away. Perhaps he ought to have considered such tactics sooner. You've made short work of my gods. His eyes narrow. They were good and loyal servants. Loyal to my coin, if not to me. They deserve a better fate than you gave them. What has my cousin promised you? Some grand reward? If he had any resources to his name, he would not covet mine. And if he had any honor in him, he would not have tried this here, now, when I have lost so much. Wait a minute, Kolsk is your cousin? Oh yes, we are kin, he and I. He was raised within these walls, in fact. Privy to all the privileges our family had to offer. But a greedy man always hungers after more than he receives, however bountiful. I was eldest, heir to the stewardship of our lands, and he was not. The legacy brought chaos with it, panic and despair. Kolsk took advantage of that chaos, creating divisions in our ranks, luring loyal men and women to his cause. Good men, good women. Radric's gaze goes distant for a moment, and then he glances at you, and his lips curl. He fled the keep in time to hole up in the wilds beyond the village, to play at being a commoner and court favor with the people. And while he plays at Conqueror, the veil suffers. Families, traitors, all. I do not have enough men to guard the roads and defend us from Kolsk incursions both. My attention suffers, and so my governance. My family. Redrick breathes out through his nose. Nor can I make the effort necessary to bring about an end to this curse if we are beset at all hours by his traitorous plots. Mm, uh, what is up with the dagger? What happened there? A just sentence. His voice wavers, and in that moment a pang of grief crosses his face. Egrid knew. She hid the verses from me, the tokens. She knew what I would make of them. The scattered god poisoned her against me, made her deaf to my instruction. Only when our son was born, that hollow thing, that monster, then, then we both knew what her crimes had wrought. Radric turns a baleful look upon you, jaw working, face flushed, and splotchy with emotion. It could not stand. He brings up a hand suddenly toward his temple, obscuring his face. What does Kolsk know of sacrifice? He would indulge himself, let us succumb one by one, and suffer Barath's punishment until the final soul goes to its keeping, never to return, and Gilded Vale is but a barren land. Uh, 
I wouldn't talk of honor if I were you. I saw the body upon your bed. Roderick's face darkens with sudden fury. You do not know what you speak of. The blasphemies that fell from her lips. The dead thing she brought into the world as a result. Gilded Vale's laws hold true for all within my lands. None can be exempt. Egrid received a just sentence, whatever her title or worth, to me. Whatever the cost I bear. You, you speak in ing ignorance. Just as you have stumbled in ignorance. <laughs> just as you have stumbled in ignorance upon my foolish cousin's plots without understanding what is at stake. But Gilded Vale has suffered under your rule. It deserves a better leader. Roderick makes a low, huffing noise of disbelief. And you think Kolsk is that leader? What does he understand of what it means to be Thane? He has gathered a meager assembly of illiterate farmers and scavengers to himself, and sends these in suicidal actions against my guards. You are a pawn in Kolsh's designs, and he has kept his motivations from you for a reason. I wonder if you understand what it is you do, or what you might accomplish if you were better informed. I wish you would decide what kind of voice you're going to have. It's like you have multiple personalities over there. You have proven your competence in your way. And had I such an ally, we might together put an end to Gilded Vale's woes, lift the curse once and for all, and in doing so, return us to a life where such strict measures are not necessary. I'm willing to listen. What did you have in mind? I'm a merchant. I'm willing to listen to any trade offers. Good, good. The stakes are too high for rash action. Be assured, Defiance Bay will hear of your assistance to me. Oh, that's good. Where is Defiance Bay, and why do I care about them? You are in a position to put a swift end to this rebellion. I have wasted too many resources on Kolsk, and paid the cost for it. Kill him, and I can refocus my attentions against this blight. Between the priest and my enemancer, we can determine a cure. My family will be the last to suffer for this legacy. Well, I don't know. I think it's nice that someone's there to distract him from killing the rest of my town. Even if they're not the best neighbors these days. Well, thanks for your input, Eder. So, what do you think, Eder? Do you think we should attack him and kill him instead? He has doubtless attempted to ply you with lies, hoping to pull you to his side. He will permit you to approach him so that he might work upon you further. Kolsh, that is. And then, you will have your opportunity. Well, our choices are quite limited here. We can either... agree to put an end to Kolsh. We can uh, attack him, which is, you know, a terrible idea. Or we could tell him he's mad, which would probably... I feel like Eder would want us to attack him. Uh, I wish I could save the game right now. Can I hit F5 and do a quick save in the middle of a dialogue? Nope, guess not. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna split the difference. I... I think you are truly mad. If you think I would ever help you... You did kill your wife, you know. So be it. May the Twinned God take pity upon your splintered soul. And scatter it to the winds. Are you gonna attack me now? Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> okay, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, guys. Well, we can get through this, right?
Um, can I get all of us in this area here? I'm gonna do a shield of faith. Or try to. Alright, nice. I'm gonna switch to... Um, Alright, we're gonna do Whisper of Treason on this guy that's attacking me. Don't attack me! Come on. Oh, Eater's almost down. Jesus. Okay, we gotta give him... Oh, he's he's down. Oh, we're we're dead. <laughs> we're gonna be replaying this because <laughs> we're dead. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Eder just got obliterated in like a couple of seconds there. Yes. Uh, yeah, we basically have no chance of surviving this, I think. Let's try to get this Archmage. Lava will be on seat. Um, oh yeah, we're, we're dying really fast. Yeah, I'm down. Two down. Uh... Maybe we can get the Archmage down. Alright, well, the Archmage is down at least. Um, let's try some Holy Radiance. It's probably too late for that. Oh, we got it off in time. Let's try some Burning Flames. I fear we've lost the Angry One! Ah, oh, thank Oh, damn. Uh, okay, well... I don't think I hit anybody with my burning flames. Yep. Party wipe. Okay, so... Clearly, any kind of combat situation is a bad idea. All right, we are back at the dialogue choice here, the, the fateful choice that led to my demise. I feel like I have no choice, really, but to say that I'll... I'll find Kolsk, and I'll put an end to him. If for no other reason than to get out of this room alive. Good. You will not have to look far. His camp lies in the wilds past Gilded Vale. His scouts watch the roads and warn him in advance of my forces. But you should have more luck. Deal with him, and then return here. Alright. Wow, we gained a lot of levels for that. Okay. I spoke to Lord Radric, who had a different tale to tell. He has asked me to confront Kolsch about his plans to usurp the throne and leadership over Gilded Vale and its surrounding lands. Radric says that Kolsch can be found within the wilds known as Magrin's Fork. I know that place. Uh, we've been there before, you guys. Well, hopefully now everybody in the castle won't attack me. I hope. Let's save the game here. Let's create a a new fork in the game save files. So let's see what uh, let's see what Eder has to say about this. I hope that old watcher's still there. Been years since I heard anything about him. Okay. Well, never mind. I thought you might have something to say about me agreeing to work for the person you hate. But I guess you don't. Of course. Hey, we're all friends now. That's lovely. That's fantastic. 
Is there a fast way out of this place by any chance? So apparently, well, this is fantastic. Nobody's trying to kill me or anything. Boy, that would have been a terrible way to come into this place. We would have gotten messed up. The air in the stable is heavy with bat dung. How do we... How do we get out of this place? Rainwater twitching with tiny larvae sloshes in the barrels. Yuck. Don't drink that. Don't drink that, you guys. That's probably not good for you. Where does that go? How do I get out of this place? Where's the gate? Here's the gate. Okay, here we go. It's hard to tell where to go in these isometric games. So he's in Magrin's Fork, you say. Now, I'm thinking once we get to the guy's camp, we'll have to talk to him and get his side of the story. Oh, he's way out there. It'll take me 16 hours to get to Magrin's Fork to talk to this guy. If nothing else, maybe he'll be easier to kill. Confront Kolsch. Now, trying to weigh the pros and cons of which side to take here, we've heard two people speaking against Kolsch. Lord Radrick himself, of course, and the, the priest, our contact, said he was not that fond of Kolsch either but he was he was okay with him but he wasn't crazy about him um, I know I should level up but I'm gonna wait till after I'm done recording so where is the guy is he at this this camp here probably that's my guess and on the other side of the scales, we have Eder, who said that he. Hey. Pretty sure he said at some point he didn't. What's on your mind? He didn't like. Uh, do 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 do. Let's ask if the people of the Gilded Vale really tried to kill Eder. They uh, <laughs> they did. It was strange timing, because we just won the war. They celebrated when I came home. There was music and dancing. Trumbull used half his grain making this big honey cake. I still dream about that cake. Like having the best lover of your life, but only for one night. And they were all sorry to hear about my brother. It took a while for word of the purges to reach us. Aethasians being murdered in the streets. Cold morn and the like. No way would they let something like that happen in Gilded Vale. That's what they all said. But the weeks went by and the purges spread. Pretty soon they weren't so sure my brother fought for Deerwood. And they weren't so sure I did. It caught me by surprise after all the celebrating. <laughs> Should have seen it coming after the tailor said he was going to fit me for some new clothes, but then all he wanted was my neck measurement. Really? Nah, not that last part. But you had to think about it. it. Says a lot about the place I've been calling home all these years. Why did you stay for so long in a town that hated you? Well, I'm sure my parents are still wondering the same thing. The Aeothasian purges were like this madness had come over the town. Like a disease. Seems like when you see something like that, your instinct is to wait for it to pass. Even when you know it probably won't. The family whose farm I worked on, they had a little hollowborn girl. 
When they heard the Animancers had this cure, the salvation it was called, they went running. This salvation, they were putting animal souls in children. You might have heard about it, giving them enough personality to care for themselves. You can guess how that turned out. Matter of time, the children broke down, became wild things, monsters. That's what those wicks are that we've been killing out in the out in the wilds. I read about them in the bestiary. Anyway, these farmers put the family dog's soul in their little girl. For a while, the girl, she's making eye contact, she's feeding herself, albeit in a kind of messy way. And one day she snaps. They found her gnawing on her brother's bones. Had to chain her up, put her in a cow pen. Well, the mother, she wouldn't have anything to do with the girl after that. But the father, he'd visit every day, feed her chickens, toss water on her once in a while to get the dirt off. Most of the village, they'd whisper about him. Poor man, they'd say, sick with grief. And he was just waiting for his daughter to look up one day and recognize her papa. He was waiting for her to get better. Didn't understand that at the time, of course, but these days I think about him a lot. Well... I thought you were going to talk more about Lord Radrick. What is your deal? Eder has agreed to travel with me. He seems to have some questions he thought a watcher might be able to answer. Oh, okay. I don't know. For some reason I had it in my head that Eder had a grudge against of course. the Lord Radrick, but it doesn't seem like he does, after all. Let's see if we can find this guy. Oh, found him. Oh, damn, there's a lot of people in here. Ah, the helpful stranger. I'm glad you've come. Do you have news for us? Kolsch's brows furrow. Strange, I have not had word from the keep. Have you succeeded? Is Radrick dead? I spoke with Radrick. He had some interesting things to say about you. I see. Kolsch watches you a moment, taking a cautious step back. He would, of course. Whatever else Radrick is, the man is no fool, nor would he miss an opportunity to poison my allies against me. Was it convincing, then, the final desperate effort of a man who saw, standing before him, an end to his years of cruelty, the whole of his family worshipped ethos before the saints' war, and now he strives to make up for their misplaced faith by shedding his mercy. Whatever he has told you, Radrick's crimes are real. He will go on murdering his own people, his family. Kolsch's lips curls. What manner of lord is that? He lacks the honor of a mad dog. Well, I'll consider your words. Perhaps I was too hasty. That is all I could ask of you. Think on it. I'm sure you will make the right decision. Um... Oh, it's Giacco. Oh, I can't kill Giacco. I rescued Giacco. Giacco seems much improved for his time out of the dungeons, though a few fading bruises linger. It's good to see you again. I don't know if I ever really thanked you enough for your help. I don't think I can ever thank you enough for your help. Getting here was a little more exciting than I'd hoped. What with all the wolves, but Kolsch and the others have been helping me. I'll be back in the thick of it soon enough. He smiles brightly. And then maybe I can return the favor, right? Uh, maybe you should leave this place. I don't know if you want to be here for what's coming. What? Giacco's smile fades. He glances at Kolsch, where he stands speaking with one of his men. Giacco lowers his voice. What have you done? Um, please, just go. You you don't need to die here. 
Giacco stares at you, his eyes wide. He shakes his head slowly, then with sudden determination. No, no, I won't let you do this. Kolsch, Kolsch, he's turned. Radrick, send him. Oh, damn it. It's, it's not what you think. Ah, oh, screw it. I'm just going to cut his throat. In one swift movement, you draw your blade across the young man's throat. He falls back, clutching at the yawning wound in his neck. Behind you, you hear the scrape of steel as Kolsch moves, too late to stop you. To arms, comrades! There is a traitor among us! Okay, here we go. Oh, I hope this is easier. Oh, man. I don't, I don't like the look of this. We gotta cast a Whisper of Treason right away. Let's do it on Kolsch himself. And let's, uh... Oh man. Mm. Oh man, what are we gonna do? Let's cast some armor or something. What was that armor spell? The long-lasting circle of healing was really good, but it's... Eh. A zone of divine favor. How big is that zone? Oh, it's around him. No, never mind. Where's the armor? One of these was an armor, wasn't it? Armor of faith. That's what I want. Uh, I'm gonna put an armor of faith around... Uh, around my guy over there. And How that, may I help? And I'm gonna send, um... Wait, let's try this slicken. Oh, can I do this without getting... Oh, I can get these two guys. Yes, let's do that. Oh, maybe I can get those, all three of these. Let's try this. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so I'm casting uh, the traitor spell. That should be good. And How may I help? I want wizard to move over into the corner. Yes, traitor was done. Can I move away without... Yes! Alright, switch to our bow. Alright, things are looking good here. Things are looking like there's a possibility that we might get through this. Hey. Alright, what can we do yes. about that priestess over there? Let's send some missiles at that priestess while she's on the ground. Nice. And I will send some arrows at that priestess. What happened there? Eder? What happened to Eder? What is... What happened to him? He's just walking around like a dope. Oh man, this rogue is a problem, I think. Uh, everything's a problem. Everything's a big problem. Uh, I can't do anything except fire missiles. Hey. Oh, was I just... Oh, he was just changing targets, I think. That's all he was doing. Alright, so let's take out this uh, priest. The rogue, I mean. Oh, man, I think... Hi? Give me, give me a big spell against this... Uh, Rogue. Necrotic Lance. Yes! Awesome. Okay. 
Okay, we got a priestess left. Um, let's try an arcane assault. Oh, damn it. She just put up a healing. She just put up some heals. What are you doing? Why did you run up there? Why did you think that was a good idea? To run up there? Durance? That was... That was a really terrible, terrible idea. We gotta get this priestess down. What? Well, since you're there, put some barbs of condemnation on her. Um. Oh, man. He's gotta give himself some second wind, too. Oh, he's he's down. He's gonna die. He's he's toast. He's absolutely toast. Get that heal off quick. Nope, he's down. All right, the priestess is down, but my healer is also down. All right, so now we gotta get. Uh... Oh boy. Can we cast another Slicken over here? Yeah, let's do that. Knock him down. Yes! Um... And then let's do a Whisper of Treason on that. that archer or on Kolsk. Let's put it on Kolsk. No! Why are you running over there? You dope. Oh, he's barely injured. This is not going to work. Kolsk, why aren't you going over there to attack this guy? Can I tell him to attack that guy? No, nope, guess not. Oh, damn it. He's changed targets. What? Is, is he stuck? He's not moving. Well, that's fine. We gotta get this guy down. We gotta get this archer down. Alright, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Everything's under control. Archer is near death. Oh, he's shooting my guy. Don't do that. I'm gonna use a second wind. Come on, Drim. Give me a- No! My guy went down! Why did you change targets, Aloth? The guy's nearly dead. <laughs> Kill him! <gasps> Thank you. Alright, Kolsk is the only one left. He's almost dead. We've lost two of our guys. He's down! Kolsk is down! Ah, oh, Man, that was close. I didn't think I was going to survive that. I did not think I was going to live through that. Well, let's grab all the loot. Oh, he's got a fine saber. That seems better than the one that I have. Uh, the rest I think we can just throw in the stash. Well, that didn't really work out quite the way I intended. <laughs> we we had to kill Gianco, slit his throat. We had to do it so he wouldn't fight against us. I had to take one other guy out of the battle as quickly as I could. I don't know. I don't know if I made the right decision there, but I do feel like that was an easier fight than the other fight.
<laughs> so that was my main decision there is the fight that seemed easier was the one that I that I did. So I'm assuming that there will not be a fight now as I go into this place. Wait, where am I? Where the heck am I? There we go. So I, I'm not resting up. I should rest up. Wrenched shoulder. Wow, why does that look so weird? It's all weird looking. I kind of wrenched shoulder and a swollen eye. Drem, my poor Drem. Alright, let's make our way back across here. Nobody attack me. Nobody attack me. Let's do a quick save. Just in case something terrible happens. Hey, I'm back. Have you brought news? Kalsh is dead, and the uprising with him. Dead, so swiftly. A peculiar smile forms on Radric's face, his teeth bared in fierce triumph, or else in pain. Then you have succeeded where a great many have failed. Would that my captains were half so efficient. Gilded Vale owes you a debt, for you have removed the greatest obstacle to its restoration. He makes a quiet, amused noise, and rid me of a persistent hornet in the process. I pay my debts. I have here a sword handed down within my family for generations. It is yours. May it serve you well in all your future endeavors. Radric gestures to a guardsman. And of course, you will be paid. I have gained the item Justice added to my inventory, and 500 copper. Really? That's all you're gonna give me? Now, Roderick lowers his gaze, now I would bury my wife and look to the future. We have a great deal of work to do before Gilded Vale is truly safe. You have my thanks for your service. Quest completed. The Lord of a Barren Land. And we got a... We got a sword by the name of Justice. A unique greatsword, two-handed? Really? I can't use that. I don't have anybody that can use that. It is... It is... Pretty worthless to me. Man, I gotta go through my inventory. I got traps? I didn't even know traps were in this game. Well, we did it. We, uh, we completed the quest. The Lords of the Barren Land. I dealt with Koshk and informed Lord Radric that he is free to rule the lands of Gilded Vale without further opposition from the Usurper. Did I do the right thing? Well, it was the, the most pragmatic thing in terms of surviving the combat. So, uh, that's going to be it for now. Wow, it took me a long time to get through that. I guess, let's save the game here. And I guess next time we will, we'll try to make it to Cadnua. We'll level up to four and we'll start off with, uh, trying to get into Cadnua yet again for the third time in a third game. My third attempt to get into Cadnua without getting killed. Alright, see you later.